Hey there. Um, I finally got around to making the FIFO buffer project. The link to the code for this project can be found in the description below. Uh, this is the demo to that project. Now let's uh, get started. We have um, <coughs> five outputs here and uh, six inputs. I'll go through each one of them in detail. Button three is the reset button. Button 2 is the write button. Every time this is pressed, the, the data from the input is written to the FIFO buffer. Button 1 is the read button. It uh, Every time it is pressed, data from the FIFO buffer is read and displayed on the output. Uh, the LED that is displayed now, the LED that is turned on now, which is LED 6 on this board, is the empty flag. It just... Um, showing that the FIFO at this stage is empty and can be written into. The LED to the left of this, um, I don't think you can see with all the glare here, uh, but there's an LED to the left of it, which will turn on um, during this uh, video, um, is the full flag. It will turn on when the FIFO is full and data cannot be written to it. So, we have, uh, the inputs will be given through um, these slide switches so it's a 3-bit input this can be changed from the code by simply using the parameters also this is a 16 word FIFO buffer which uh, <clears throat> can also be easily converted to a 32 and more by simply changing the parameter how and why I have explained in the link so let's uh, give it some input then Notice that the empty flag is on. As soon as I give it an input, it should uh, turn off. So let's give it a completely random input. Um, let's say 0, 1, 0. Let's write that. And yeah, the empty went off. So this means that data is in the FIFO. Um, now let's give it, um, I'm just going completely random here. Um, 1, 0, 1. Write that. 0, 0, 1 write that uh, what then one 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 write that right so now let's test that <clears throat> remember this is a FIFO first in first out so the data that was written first will be displayed first so let's try that the first one was zero one zero pressing the read button fair enough we got zero one zero next one if I remember correctly was um, 101 yes 101 there we go 001 was the next I believe yes uh, 111 yeah and that was the last one and as you um, as can be seen that as soon as the last um, data was uh, shown on the output the empty flag went high again showing the the, uh, the FIFO is empty now you can write more data into it and uh, that's it. Oh, let me show you the full flag. This this is the LED that should turn on when the FIFO goes full. So let's uh, take it to its maximum capacity. I'm just going to write data here constantly. Um, just give it some random random input. I'm not even going to read that back. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Full. Uh, the LED is the um, FIFO. Sorry, is full. And the LED has been turned on now. Now, no matter what I do now, data will not be written. It will not take the input that is given now because the full flag is turned on. It does not have any more capacity. As soon as all of this is read from the FIFO, which I'll do now, read, 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 read. It's empty again. And now data can be written into it again. Oh, was the camera out of focus there? I'm really sorry. I was looking at the board. Um, and hence, this is why it's an elastic uh, memory, because and why it is usually used in as a buffer memory between two uh, connected systems, um, usually in modems or in um, serial communication, a project I plan on doing and uploading pretty soon. Um, oh well, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope this helped, and best of luck.